Away from the cold, students gathered to listen to poems defying racism and hate from National Book Award winning poet Robin Cost Lewis. Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be here. Robin Coast Lewis writes about um, the representation of black women in, in the Western art tradition primarily, mm -hmm. and also later, um, later work by uh, black women and black gay, gay artists. And I think that idea of representation means quite a bit, um, given the current political context, um, where people are wondering where they fit in. Giving the book its title, Lewis wrote a poem praising the aesthetic beauty of a painting meant to demean and categorize. Late 1700s etching um, that is based on a late 1700s poem. Within the poem, it's a pro-slavery poem, this fabulous Brit writes this poem that talks about the equal opportunities of raping a woman, that it doesn't matter if you rape a white woman or a black woman at night because it's dark and you can't tell and you can't, so you won't know the difference. It's a heinous poem, and it was very much celebrated. And so it went on, people went on to illustrate it, right? First there was an etching, and then there was a painting in 1801. Now, the etching, super, 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 ironically, is gorgeous. Um, I think what students should get out of that is, is, the, uh, is a method of perception. So not to say that we can look at anything and make it into something else, but that it should sharpen our aesthetic perception of things. Because, you know, while she's looking at that sort of pro-rape etching, you know, from which the title of The Voyage of the Sable Venus comes from, she sees it as beautiful and then also understands its repellent nature, right, the actual message that it's advocating. Mm -hmm. And yet she can still see something within it that is beautiful. And if you can rescue what's beautiful in, in the mire, uh, you might be able to make something out of it that is you know, on its own, beautiful, and also maybe uh, ethical. Although Lewis has a big name now, her poems invite the reader to make meaning of the past and current racism in our culture, rather than ignore it. For Cougar News, this is Mauricio LaPlante.